All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start, I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, Bashim, and Kakudash. I'm the brother Tazimak Amak, I'm from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and teach the truth and well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful led that scattered abroad. And what we have to, what we have here is the Book of Clarence movie trailer. All right. And we're going to play it, man. It is a lot of uh, mockery towards our, our Lord. And when we get towards the credits, you're going to see why. All right. I'm Clarence. I'm not a man without faults. I played the cards I was dealt. Clarence, in spite of your selfish ways, there's a beautiful soul in there somewhere. It's him. Jesus of Nazareth. You can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. Knowledge is stronger than belief. He made miracles. I have a plan. I can see! I can see! God sent me to deliver his message. I am your new Messiah. Listen, us swine! Ah, stop that! Your God is a myth. See for yourselves. There is no Messiah. Clarence, if you'll be so kind to walk on water. Okay, and you see, man, there's a lot of shit that's off. Whole, like, a lot of stuff that's off. And it just shows you that our people think they take Yahweh Bashim Shah for a joke, man. Alright, so let's actually. Let's go right here, man. And the fact that you take him as a joke, he's gonna take you as a joke, man. Okay. All right, now this says, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Okay, and this is what our people do. All right, they, they tarry to turn to the Lord, you know, and um, there's no fear of the Lord in this earth, man. That's why when the Lord comes back, um, he's going to, let me grab this scripture. <clears throat> this is Luke 18 and 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Okay. And as you can see, man, there's a whole bunch of Jake re recreating trying to recreate or a parody of Yahweh Shai's, his ministry and his death. Okay. And that's not a good, that's not a good look, man. Okay. That is definitely not a good look, man. And the Lord is going to destroy you for that. Okay. Unless you repent. 
Now, Surah 5 and 7 says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and putting it off from day to day. And this is what our people do, man. Since they don't take the Lord serious, they put it off from day to day. Oh, the, when is that going to happen? Oh, when the Lord is coming back? Oh, when? Is, hey, man, it's time to get right. We don't know the day nor hour the Lord is coming, but, you know, it's about girding yourself now, growing the grace now, getting right now, because when that time comes, you're not going to be able to get right, man. It's going to be all for yourself. And what have you done for your Haobashi Malshai? And now it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh, so like it's, now it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Okay, so when you're comfortable, when you got your feet kicked up, when you're making parodies, that's when the Lord's going to come destroy you, man. And it says, and perish in the day of vengeance, and the Lord is coming with vengeance. All right? Let's get a book of... I believe Isaiah 63. Let's see. No. I believe 63. Let's see. Slain. Yeah, let's see. Isaiah 66. All right. Now, this is Isaiah 66 and 16. It says, For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. And so, when the Lord's coming back, he's going to destroy a lot of people, okay? A lot of people, not only by when his indignation of, you know, the nukes, but by, you know, the chariots, by, you know, famine, by the sword, and etc., man. The Lord's coming to have a bloodbath on this, on this earth, man. Now, let's grab Zechariah 14. Oh, I believe 13 is lucky. Zechariah 13. All right, now this is Zechariah 13 and verse 8. And it says, And this shall come to pass that in all the land, okay? Now it does not say lands. It says in all the land. The land of what? America. Okay? Because this this place is the most wickedest place of all. This is the uh, the whore that ride up on the beast. <clears throat> okay, and this is what all wickedness stems from. Okay, it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two-thirds of our people, all right, two-thirds of our people are going to die here in the land of America. Okay, because people like this, you know, want to make mockery of our Lord. Okay, they want to make mockery of our Lord. And, um, you know, and they're going to have to pay for that, man. Okay. And really, uh, really the Lord is just bringing back the spirits that were there back then. Where, when, uh, our own people said, let, let, let his blood be upon us and all our children. All right. And really they didn't understand what they were saying, man. Okay. Because that's going to follow from generation to generation because we come back every three to four generations. All right, so they still have the price to pay for that. Okay, now it says two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two thirds are going to die in this land. But it says, but the third shall be left therein. One third is going to be saved. Okay, the Lord is not coming to save everybody, as you can see. The Lord is coming to save one third. Okay, now let's get this. If I didn't bring it out already, let's go to Galatians 6 and 7. All right, now this is the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh Shemel Shai is not mocked. Okay? Yahweh Shemel Shai is not mocked. So let's play a little bit right here. Somewhere. It's him. Jesus of Nazareth. You can't even buy power like that. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. 
And, you know, and this just shows you that our people envy Yahweh Shai, man. They envy him his power, all right, and the miracles he was uh portraying and showing, okay? And really, hey, you see in this movie, the dude that was next to him, he's smoking a blunt while John the Baptist was well, supposed to be John the Baptist, you know, preparing the souls for Yahweh Shai. All right, <clears throat> and we know you how uh, John the Baptist was a rough man. All right, and he said, you know, he called fruits meat for repentance. He ain't called for the vipers. He ain't called for the snakes. He called for the fruits meat for repentance. And really, you know, these guys that are in, they're starring in this movie. This they're just trying to be like. <laughs> They're just trying to find, they're just trying to climb up their own way, all right? Knowledge is stronger than belief. Now, he said knowledge is stronger than belief, okay? But let me let me finish this right here. It says, Galatians 6 and 7, says, Be not deceived, Yahweh Bashim is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So whoever this man is, this actor, you know, and the director of this, these movies, <laughs> Hey, man, you're going to have to reap what you sown, okay? And guess what, man? The Lord is going to destroy you, man, if you don't repent. The Lord is going to kill you if you do not repent. This is a mockery. This is offensive, okay? If it offended me, how much, how much more you have shy, okay? The one that died for the elect, the one that died for the nation of Israel, okay? That shed his blood, that got humiliated, so okay for us but see you know jake don't take the lord's um sacrifice very serious man for us to go back to the father <laughs> okay um i was gonna grab something oh damn let me see if i can remember it back he said knowledge is stronger than belief oh con okay now, when you go to uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter, he said knowledge is stronger than belief. But when you read in Hebrews 11 and 6, it contradicts what he says. It says, Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to believe him. All right. And we're and we we live in our faith, our hope that our Lord come back. All right. And we believe that the Lord, you know, walked, walked on earth, did those miracles. Okay, and he's dwelling with us in the spirit. Okay, but for us to believe, okay, is is through right this. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, do we see the Lord today? No. Okay, but we believe that he's here. We believe that he's living. Okay, we, we believe this word. We believe this report because he comes in the volume of the book and for us to believe the Father, we have to first go through the Son. Now, Hebrews 11 and 6, it reads again, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. So we can't please Yahweh Shem El Shai unless we have faith. Okay? And even the, uh, a grain of mustard, uh, mustard seed, uh, uh, salakia, a seed the size of a mustard grain, ace, that's enough faith to move mountains, man. Okay, which is a small, small seed. All right. Now it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yahweh Bashim El Shai says, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. Must believe that he is. Okay. So knowledge is stronger than belief. No, because, you know, through the fear of the Lord and through the faith of the Lord, that's when you're going to gain knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Okay. And the scripture tells us that through, through the fear of your whole through the fear of the Lord, it's the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? But with faith, is what's going to drive us to believe and to continue to do this thing. Alright, it says, For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay? And this, this is a fucking parody, bro. <laughs> like, for real. Knowledge is stronger than belief. Clarence, 
He needs miracles. I have a plan. And they're trying to, they're trying to come up some other way. Now, when you come, now when you go to uh, the Book of John, chapter ten. All right, now this is John ten and one. It says, "Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber." Okay, and we know that Yahweh is the only way to get out. Okay, these men are trying to make their own way. That's why scriptures say, um, there shall be many, uh, um, uh, damn, what's that scripture? Let me just uh, grab it instead of trying to paraphrase it. Let me see. Let me see. Bear with me one quick. All right, let's go right here. Let's go to uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew 24. Let's go right here. Matthew 24 and 24, right? And this shows you that, you know, they're trying to make a mockery. Oh, that... Oh, I'm the Messiah. I'm, I'm this. I could do this. I could do all these miracles because they envy the Lord, right? Now, this is Matthew 24 and 24. It says, for there shall arise false Christ, false anointing. All right. It says false prophets. All right. And shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And this is what that man was trying to do. Or right, what this movie is really about. All right. That they owe. I'm the Messiah. I could do this. I could do that. I want that power. I got that power. Really, this man wasn't blind. He could see perfectly fine. All right, but it's all an act. Okay? And you can see the demons in, in, in this man, bro. All right, so when you go back right here, truly, truly, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. And that's these false these false prophets and what they do they're trying to they're not trying to reverence you know the doctrine of the elders and apostles that the lord has set up the lord set up a path a way to follow and these men trying to go up another way and that's why the shit not working the lord is not dwelling with them okay but it says but he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep okay and the lord is the way the truth and the life and we have to enter through him to get to the life, to get to the eternal life, to get to the Father, to come and and one again, okay. But these men trying to come up some other way, and this really what this movie is portraying, all right. How these men were back in the day. The miracles. I have a plan. I can see. I can see. <laughs> Sent me to deliver his message. I am your new Messiah. And what we read, hey, I'm your new Messiah. And we read Matthew 24 and 24. There shall arise many false Christs, many false prophets, man. All right. Now let's grab um the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 3. Now it says, The eyes of Yahweh are in every place. Where are the eyes of the Lord? The angels, okay, they see all these things. They they hear everything. They know what's going on, and they all report it back to the Lord, right? It says the eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. This is evil, man. All right, this is pure mockery towards our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai and what He's done for us, man. All right, and this is why Jay got to get killed, man. They think shit a joke. Shit is not a joke. It's not a game <laughs> because when shit hit the fan, it's it's over. You're going to be crying to the Lord. You're going to be crying to God, God, please, please. Okay? When the Lord's going to destroy you, man. All right? Every idle word men shall speak. They shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. All right? And the Lord sees everything, man. This is why we got to repent, you know, and become hum come humble. All right? Because, you know, hey, man, you get full of that pride, you start doing stupid shit. 
Okay, it says the eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good, and he's just just doing straight foolishness, man. Okay, let's get this. Uh, Proverbs fourteen. Let's go to Proverbs fourteen and eight. It says the wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way. All right, the prudent man is to understand his way. Right? How how do I please you, Lord? How how do what what do I gotta do? To show you that I love you. Alright. We're like keeping the law, such and commandments, doing as he commanded us to do. Alright, but it says, But the folly of fools is deceit. Let's see in the NLT. Let's see what it says in the NLT. Alright, it says the prudent understand where they are going, but the fools deceive themselves. Okay. And 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 uh our people love to do folly and, and foolish things. All right, verse nine says, "Fools make a mock at sin." Okay, fools make a mock at sin. What they doing is really sinning against the Yahweh Shimon Shai, man. It says, "But among the righteous there is favor." All right, they're making a mockery of what what the Lord has done. All right, and you see, and uh, right here during the um, when they were supposed to be John, John the Baptist. You got this man smoking a blunt, dude. Like, what the... F like, what is going on? <laughs> okay? Smoking a blunt, bro. In the movie. <laughs> I am your new messiah. You see? The Lord... <laughs> hey, the Lord gonna pull up. Gonna pull this up, man. I'm telling you right now. All right? Now, let's go to verse 18. Now, let's go to verse 18. It says, The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. All right? And our fo and the folly of our people, they, they that's what they do, man. They're simple. They inherit folly. They do foolishness. They, they do parodies. They, they think everything is a joke. But the Lord is not going to be joking with you when you're starving, when you're hungry. All right, when Esau's at your door. But it says, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Because why? Because they fear Yahweh Shai. All right, now let's go to the account of Yahweh Shai. When our people chose Bar... Uh, when they chose, um, what should we call it? So I can just, when they chose Barbabas over Yahweh Shai. All right, now this is Matthew 27. We can start at uh, 15. It says, now at that feast, the governor was wont to plead to us, like was wont to release unto the people a prisoner, whom they would, and they that had a notable prisoner called Barbabas. All right, therefore. When they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barbabas, or Yehoshua, which is called Hamashiach. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. Alright? And that's and this is what happened, man. Our people, they, they envy Yehoshua, his miracles, his power, and what he was doing for our people. Alright? And guess what? They envied him. And that's why they delivered him up. All right. They were hating, man. Okay. Verse 19 says, when he sat, when he sat down on the judgment seat, his wife said unto him, saying, have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. It says, but the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barbabas and destroy Yahweh Shai. Says the governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barbabas. Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Yahweh which is called Hamashiach? They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil have ye done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. All right. It says, When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, 
I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. All right. And then guess what? Verse 25 says, Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barbabas unto them. And when he had scourged Yahushai, he delivered him to be crucified, man. And that's what's going on here. They envied him. They delivered up Yahushai. And guess what? The blood is upon, you know, on them and their children. All right. Swine. Ah, stop that! Your God is a myth! See for yourselves, there is no Messiah. Well, if you'll be so kind to walk on water. So with that, man, you see the mockery of what our people do, man. And man, this uh, soon enough, Yahweh Bashim is gonna come destroy America, man. And this is what we need. We need a purging of this shit. Alright. So with that, Lord Wins lesson been edifying. I'm gonna give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Kakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.